everyone welcome back to a new video um, i hope that you remember the lighting project which um, i have done for the indoor uh, parking place um, today i want to focus on the, the outdoor areas of the of the indoor parking place um, so showing the 2d i want to add here the outdoor parking areas around the indoor building and as well at some 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 trees at different surfaces and in the end of course we will run we will run also an outdoor uh, lighting uh, calculation for um, for the outdoor um, parking places but also we can create an architectural lighting for example uh, for this green area where we have some couple of trees so we can play a little bit also with um, by set up, in, set up uh, um, architectural lighting design as well there. So um, first step is we need to move from the, let's say indoor application, so indoor parking, a ground floor we need on the site. So everything what we will do for the outdoor area of the parking lot or around the uh, indoor parking lot needs to go on the site and then I would choose, for example, a uh, draw rectangular floor element uh, for these parking lots. It's just easy in this case. And here you have also the, um, the dimensions, the length, like the width and, and so on, if you want to know. And if you want to see how it looks in the, in the 3D, you just, yeah, you need to switch actually the 3D. So then we have a let's say zoom in, zoom out, sorry, and then zoom in. So this is the new floor which I just added, and then here we have the indoor parking as you see it here configured. So everything that you need to let's say edit or create different areas around the indoor parking uh, area, you need to go on the site. So Next step, I move to 2D. Um, I will just go also here, for example. I will just go again, add another surface. Similar on this one. I would just want to give you a couple of examples just uh, to be easy for you to identify. And again, if you want to check in 3D, you can see it's very very easy and uh, yeah uh, easy to add and edit the outdoor areas of uh, of let's say different uh, buildings it, instead of this indoor park it can be an office building or commercial and uh, retail for example and and so on and if you want to add as well the tree trees i would say you need to go on the furniture and objects i have you can open the the catalog and then in addition you will find different types of uh, of trees so yeah feel free to choose which one you want and then you just drag and drop and then you just move it in the, in the position of course you have also the option to scale Just to see how it, it looks and then also you can change also the height i think in this case yeah so it looks like like this and if i want to use the same tree also for the other five here i just go above it copy and just move on here step by step So now I change again to 3D, so you see that the area around the <coughs> indoor parking gets a little bit more, let's say, crowded. Um, in addition, if you want to add, again, cars, for example, you just need to go here. Uh, I think outdoor or street planning, I, I think it's street planning. 
and then you can just drag and drop as well and we can play also we can add also cars here in our parking you need to just rotate it and then you can move it easily i can copy more if i want just to be more realistic for example when you do a lighting calculation so this will be an easy uh, way so you see it here that can go and of course if you want to to change for example also the colors of um, of tarmac then you can change or material for example being outdoor let's say we can place this material if you want so you see that it's changing the structure already what you want for example parking can be yeah i can go this way and it yeah it looks like this so this one can be also <coughs> done very easy if you want to add different texture you can use the material and just drag and drop and you see it here a different texture will be added <coughs> and last um, when you want to <coughs> introduce also the, the lighting features then you just drag and drop Oh, and just move it let's say here we can see the mounting height I will say let's put 7 meters or 6 and just run a simple calculation afterwards just run the calculation now let's see the result <coughs> so as the calculation <coughs> is going up we shall see also the lux level Ooh much I would say but here it's related to the indoor um, we don't have for outdoor we will place um lighting surface calculations for outdoor <coughs> if you check let's say also the light distribution I think we need to rotate actually the the luminaires on the other side yeah so you see now actually instead of placing the luminaires to light the parking it's lighting this street which i will do it in the next video let's see also the false colors yeah <coughs> sorry so let's redo this calculation and just rotate yeah this will be easier so it's easy to, to rotate these ones. This is just just an example of how we can illuminate the parking lot. Let's add it here. Uh, let's see now the outcome. go on to the yeah so plenty of light actually too much light no we should i should use uh, less light there 
we should have maximum 10 lugs, 5, 10, between 5 and 10 should be okay for the for the outdoor parking. So this is too much. So we need to use less luminaires. This means um, bigger difference uh, between luminaires. Let's say this one we can delete. And now we delete also this one. And let's redo the calculation. And let's see only with two. Luminaires. Yeah, should be. This is this is okay now. Here we have still twenty locks. Yeah. And I can just reduce the false colors just to see it. And you want to to look nicer, let's say the, the lighting pictures, I will suggest you to go on construction. And then we just take a, Still on the side, we will go for a um, column round. We just add it here, and we shoot the point one. And what is six meters? We should just move it. Under the luminaire just to represent the pole that in this case, uh, the luminaire looks like uh, it's, it's suspended in the air, so it doesn't look good. So you can easily represent the pole by just using a round column and then just add it to, to the drawing and you can just you, copy paste and use also for the second luminaire it's it looks much better from my point of view so yeah we need to take it here yeah and then you see how it looks so yeah that's that's all for today i would say uh, the main or the more important thing is uh, how you can edit uh, the surfaces um, or uh, for a outside, let's say, of a commercial building, office, or as we have in this case, an indoor uh, parking. Uh, that's that's as you can see it here that's very easy so as, once again you need to move to the side and then you can easily work with the same elements uh, that you are using for example for uh, for the indoor but in this case you can do the outdoor um, areas around the indoor parking or as mentioned a different um, a different uh, a different building so Next time I want to do also the the lanes here and uh, pr produce also as I mentioned an architecture lighting for the for these trees just to see some some down lights and upper lighting for example and uh, yeah until next time I wish you all the best so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time stay safe all the best bye bye.